Good morning. Something funny happened over at the Villager Trading Hall. If it's still there, I'll show you. If not, I'll show you, I'll put that um, Scott screenshot um, in the thumbnail. So let me let's get started. Okay, first, I did move the AFK platform. Whoopsie, three blocks down. So let's see if that affected the rates. And oh my gosh, it looks like a couple of other people want AFK. <sighs> so fingers crossed. It didn't really affect it that much, huh? Because this is where yesterday um, ended and then went AFK. But this is not too bad. I'll try it again tonight. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, put this here. And then tonight, um, I'm going to put this down here wherever um, it is. So, it was a little bit less than, okay. So I am going to check again one more time tonight. If it's still a low number, I might move it back up three blocks, so. But so yeah, it also depends on how many people were um, online, because I think at least one of them are, one of them is AFK. So, and they might have um, spawned chunks. Oh my goodness, look at this. This was just last night. So, ink sacks, I am not worried about it. It's just the glow squid ink. A little bit concerned that the numbers were lower. Not sure what happened there, but yeah. Okay. So, uh, so squid form. As you can see, I moved the AFK spot three blocks down. It didn't affect. It was still a huge amount. So, well, let me wait. Was this two 18 stacks? Because if it's 18 stacks, I might as well just sell these at my shop. No, not quite. Okay, maybe tomorrow. I will be able to sell these at my shop. I'm already selling regular ink over there, so. See, we we filled the entire river, 128 blocks, on all four sides. See, this is all filled up, so there's no reason why the squid form can't work. So it looks like I can take this down, because so I don't need it. You can AFK inside the farm, it will work. That was my biggest worry when I moved it down three blocks in my affected squid form, but as you can see, it didn't. Make sure this is so touch. I don't mind if this falls down. Because it will fall down into the farm and the top of my car will pick it up.
Oh, also, the last episode, the number was wrong. <laughs> I saw what happened. I put the wrong number in the actual file. And I didn't fix it after I rendered, I uploaded the video. <laughs> so, when I was numbering yesterday's video, I went based on the number that was on the file, not re remembering, hey, you know, I put the wrong number on there, I need to fix it. So this one, I'll, I will make sure I have the right number. That's the other thing, too. What some people do, um, I saw a podcast where they were, they were mentioning um, they have an analog clock uh, whose battery is dead and they never bothered to put a fresh new battery in there. So the time is always the same. So what they decide to do is to use the minute hand to remind them which episode they're on. Of course, granted, you know, I could do that, but meh. Nah. Let me go down here, collect the, um, oh, it's probably going to come in maybe two or three rounds if I open it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I need to go up there. Maybe it's still up there. If it landed on the glass block, it probably wouldn't go into the farm. I hear this. Oh, there are some squid bits here. I think this is everything. Oh yeah, I also... I'm sure made an eye. We collected some of these. While we were working on the farm, so let's see. Um, Once I move the portal, I'm going to move the portal right about here, so I'm going to move the chest over, so maybe put the wall a few blocks this way, depending on how many steps I have at that time, so, okay. Let's go back up. There's only three people on line, so I sh if I sleep, it should speed up the cycle. Here we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna these animals too. And these it's mon chest monsters. Okay. The other reason to FK there is so that the vill this villager breeder will make more villagers. So I do have some levels that I need to dump as well. Oh, that's the other thing I need to show you. There's a couple of things that I forgot to show you last time. But this, let me pick some stuff up from here. I think I need six warped trap doors. Let me see. Do we have? Do we have? We don't have a. Okay. Um. I need a crafting table. Okay, that'll do. Put the X's back in here. So if anybody wants these, any of these, just take them. Um, because I'm not, not going to need them. If I do need them, I'll just take them. So I mean, don't worry about it. Just, just take it, take it, take it, take it. Okay. We have this. 
Uh, we have this. So let me show you first. I heard feedback about how my proposed um, solution, because some people want to do sprint jumping, um, modifying it. So, what my roommate proposed is doing it this way, putting all the glazed terracotta and the light source up here, and this is going to be a different block. So... So what I did, okay, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put all the glazed terracotta up here, the light source here. I'm not sure what to do about this. One proposal could be red sand, but... I mean, eventually I could do that, but right now I'm a little bit crunched for time. I really need to get that trading hall done and dusted. I will consider putting this as red sand. So, went all the way down here last night. I fixed all of those and then I extended it down here. Over to the raid farm. And it keep it over there, over there, let me show you. Over here, we have we have bamboo signs. Now the question is, should we put glowing here? If we put glowing here, we do need to dye it um, because with some shader packs. You're not going to be able to see the, the what's written on there, so or you won't be able to see it as easily. So right now, um, until they get some community feedback on what they want me to do with the south tunnel, I'm going to leave it without the glow ink, even though I have a glow ink farm now. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So yeah, let me know. I'm going to keep this here because we have some server mates who need, um, who are really benefited by having the signs here, letting them know the nether hub's this way. So, because even I'm like, without those signs, I am end up going the wrong way. Um, out of habit or because, yeah, I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. So yeah. So I stopped right there. So let me know what your feedback is. Does this look okay? Or you're like, eh, red, red sand might look better here. But yeah. So let me finish my projects. I'll fill, fill, up, fill this up with red sand and then I'll look, and then you can let me know which looks better. Red sand, I should just keep with the Milby theme. Okay, next thing I want to show you is, um, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to gain so many chest monsters from this thing. Actually, I do need like, um... Mm. Oh, the other thing, um, yeah. I forgot to show you one more thing that I did with the raid farm. One block reminding me. Okay, so just one more piece, and then I'll go on to the next part. Ta-da! This is Soul Sand Valley, and gas will spawn in the most inopportune location, inopportune time. So, all this is um, packed ice with buttons to prevent gas from spawning. And then here, we have soul soil with carpet. So step to the raid farm. See, I just kept with the um. We have stripped acacia logs. So we've got stripped acacia signs, and I kept the stripped acacia signs here. So that's step two. This is step one. 
Build your outpost. Okay. Now here, mobs can spawn, I think, here. It was like, um, the zombified piglins. Um, even with lava, they'll still spawn, so... You might get the round of... Some five people are going through that these um, portals for now. I'll fix that later. Um, the next thing is, let me show you the trading hall area. You'll probably see what happened over there. I... Afterwards, I realized what happened and I'm like, okay, I need to fix this. Because this is going to look bad if I keep it like this. And I keep doing this because this is a habit going over here. When actually... I keep forgetting that I've already built a, a catwalk to there. Yeah, it'll take time for me to get used to um, the improvements around here. I'm gonna grab a couple of blocks because I know I'm going to need to pillar up. Or, what I could do... The other thing that I forgot to show you is this thing here. Yeah, it's, it's still there. <laughs> I made a map wall. Now my question is, should I move this down one block? Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the animal sanctuary here. This is going to be the copper form and the tail end of um, the tree form is cut off. So I might actually move this one block down. So what I need to do here, okay, we got let me look on these two first. I did put, um... This should have been... I do have to be careful not to hit this guy here. If I were to do this, I probably don't need it too far away. I'm a little bit scared. I don't think they can reach me from here, but I gotta make sure I don't hit the villagers that are already in there. Get up there before one of my swimmates sleeps. Oops. I don't mean to do that. Yeah, I thought it was my understanding. <laughs> I, I come or I convinced myself that I was finished building this but apparently not <laughs> okay let's go this way so that part is fixed now, over here i've got great news i have a full set of backup protection armor so so i can Rest assured, um, even if something happens to this set, I have a backup now. And these guys have full lines of them. So 
so really stoked about that. So now protection, I have a backup. So in case something happens to this, I now have a backup. Now we have, uh, no, I moved the blast protection over to, let me show you. Less predictions right here. Now I don't have a backup of this, so if I do spawn the wither boss and I die, I don't have a backup. So that's a little bit scary. I do have two proc, um, two proc armors now, so I'm not too fussed about this. Let me move this guy over. Make sure it's soak. And at some point, I need to test stuff out here. Put chickens in here, put the iron golems in here, spawn it with a boss. Can I do it? I think the first thing that I need to do is... I want to start with about 64 chickens. And once these become adults, then... Let's do this together. Because the main point of having this too high is so that they can't escape. Now I forgot. Do they take 10 minutes to become adults? Or 20? Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you. Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna wait until they grow up off camera. Of course, I can always use seeds, but okay. Oh. This is one of the original ones that, is that yeah escaped, huh? Because they're already adult. Of course, I could always. Lure them with um seeds back in there, but okay. So yeah, this that area is not claimed anymore. I removed the claim. So fingers crossed I can get I can get the I can finally get the wither rose. Yeah, I thought I was doing the right thing by remembering that I need wither roses, but then I forgot that clean land they're not gonna turn into wither roses. Well, the other thing that I did, um, I actually finally broke down and went to that super mega iron farm. Got stacks upon stacks of um, iron. <laughs> so, granted, I only have eight, ten villagers that accept the iron iron trade and give me emeralds for it. But yeah, so I just need slow falling, uh, swiftness twenty two seconds. Swiftness 11 seconds. Let me check this side. This side I have everybody. 
This side, the morning missing visibility 22. I don't know how rare that is, but I still have not found that one yet. Uh, weakness, one minute. Um, these three are fullers, just in case um, something happens to one of these guys. Water breathing is one minute. That's one that I'm missing. And on this side, I'm missing quite a few. Swiftness, two, 11 seconds. Swiftness, 22 seconds. Still falling, 30 seconds. Slowness, 11 seconds. So, I'm almost there. Yeah, I went to the Ender Ender to get some Ender chests, so. So now what I could do. Yeah, see, I went to the, um. Super Iron Farms, and I'll have this. Um. These are building materials. This. Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 of them. But this one, I got this uh, when I got when I went to the raid farm. I got here in the village, and one of the villagers gave me this. That's why this, this, that's why this has just one of them. Um, there is also this one. Same thing. I got here in the village, <clears throat> and two villagers gave me poison, five second arrows. So. <clears throat> This is the reason why I have slowness 11 here, but I don't have a villager there. Because that's a little explanation. See, I'm close. Really, really close. Yeah, I have so many chest monsters, it's not able to find me right now. We don't have the right tree. Oh, dang it. <clears throat> Why I did that? <laughs> oh, I need emeralds first. Okay. I do have some. Oh yeah, I do have some extras here as well. Let me start with you. So I can do this and when I'm waiting for the cycling, I can just go over there. Um, and I ran out of emeralds, so I gotta go check for emeralds. <clears throat> And we'll go up here. Um, feathers. That's the other thing, too. I'm running all the feathers. Granted, I could trade them with sticks, maybe. Sticks or. Yeah, the stick. Well, these guys won't have a stick trade. Oops. Gotta make sure that locks in, but anyway. I got one thing fixed. I didn't realize that my trading hall wasn't completely finished. <laughs> and that's why the iron golems go on the right in that spot. But they shouldn't do that anymore. I fixed it. Um, next episode? What we're gonna do with the boss fight? Just give you an update. Um, go for there. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day. And I shall see you next time. Bye bye.